Yes, guys, turn to question number 31. The balance sheet of third balance sheet as on 31st March of SIC Limited is as under a balance sheet is given to you and he is also giving you a contingent liability saying preference dividend are in areas for three years including the year ended on 31st March. The funds of the company are insufficient to discharge the liabilities including the preference dividend in areas. However, the, the company does not want to deplete its resources so it would also like to reflect some of the assets in its realistic manner. So this will require you to do an internal reconstruction process. The board of directors have decided and proposed the following scheme of reconstruction on 1st April 2011. The cumulative preference shares are to be issued in exchange of their holdings 13% debentures of face value 100 rupees each at a premium of 10% fraction holding to be paid off in cash. Areas of preference dividend are converted into equity shares of 100 rupees each 50 rupees paid up. After the issue of shares mentioned in 2 above, the paid up value of all the shares will be reduced to 25 rupees. Each one is 50 paid up, you are reducing it by 25 rupees. The face value of all the equity shares to be reduced to 50 rupees each and the balance unpaid portion is to be called up fully. So I am reducing the face value from 100 to 50 and I am calling up that balance 25 rupees per share. Goodwill has lost its value and should be written off and the market value of the fixed assets is determined at 2,50,000. So that extra value of 40,000 should be written off. Check the book value. Other fixed assets other than Goodwill is 2,90,000. Well, the book value should be written down by 40,000 to bring it up to the fair value of the market value of 2,50,000. Investments have no market value and should be written off. The 12,500 to be written off. Stock in trade is valued at 110% of its book value. So stock in trade of 1,5,000 should be increased by 10% and the debtors are to be discounted by 5%. Debtors 1,27,500 minus 5%. 5% downward revaluation. The scheme as approved by the director is duly accepted by all the authorities and put effect through. During the workings of the half year ended on 30th September, it was noticed that the trading for the period has resulted that in an increase in the bank balance of 27,550, debtors by 20,000, creditors by 13,000, decrease in stock is 4,000 and depreciation on fixed assets at the rate of 10% per annum to be provided for 6, year, six months. The increase in the bank balance was prior to the company paying half yearly interest on debentures and redeeming one half of the debentures on 30th September. From the above information, you are required to prepare the balance sheet of SIC Limited as on 30th September. So, the balance sheet is to be drawn on 30th September, but the entire internal reconstruction procedure given to you is on 1st April. So, let's prepare the internal reconstruction first and then prepare a draft balance sheet as on 1-4. We will prepare the final balance sheet as on 30th September according to your schedule 3. So, check your internal reconstruction first. Cumulative preference shares are to be issued in exchange of their holdings. 13% preference shares, sorry, 13% debentures of 100 rupees each at a premium of 110. So how much debentures are you issuing? 110 rupee debenture to discharge the preference share holders. Preference share holders are 20 lakh, sorry, 2 lakhs divided by 110. That will be the amount of debentures and the balance debent and the balance fractions will be discharged off in cash. So this is the first thing but if you observe the first thing under internal reconstruction there is no capital reduction arising from this because for the entire 2 lakhs is giving you debentures there is no capital reduction arising from this situation. Let's continue. Second case is taking arrears of preference dividend. Arrears of preference dividend was never a liability for which he is issuing equity shares. So it will reduce the capital reduction here it is not contributing to capital reduction. The contribution to capital reduction will start in point number 3. After the issue of the shares mentioned in 2 above, the paid up value of all the equity shareholders will be reduced to 25. So one reduction of capital reduction, one contributing to capital reduction. Next, face value is to be reduced to 50 and unpaid portion is fully called up. There is no capital reduction which is arising here. Goodwill should be written off. This is again utilization of capital reduction. Market value of fixed assets should be 
should be written off to 2 lakh 50, 40 thousand reduction in fixed assets, again utilization, investments to be written off, utilization, stock to be valued at 110, this will contribute to capital reduction, increase by 10%, again debt has to be discounted by 5%, that is utilization of capital reduction, no journal entries being asked, don't unnecessarily prepare, so put down a heading, Capital Reserve on Internal Reconstruction. The balance in capital reduction account after all adjustments should be transferred to capital reserve. So, I will split this working note this way. First one is contribution to capital reduction. And the next one is utilization of capital reduction. As we find the case, we keep posting it, okay? So, go on. Let's try to fill it up under these two heads. The net balance of capital reduction should be your capital reserve. Starting with the first point. Cumulative preference shares are to be issued in exchange of their present holding 13% debentures of 100 rupees at a premium of 10%. Fraction debentures to be paid off in cash. There is no reduction in the liability. There is no capital reduction that is arising here. Subsequently, second point. Arrears of preference dividend should be converted into equity shares of 50 rupees each. It is utilization of capital reduction because there was no liability. Arrears of preference dividend How do you settle this? What are the arrears of preference dividend? First check It is 3 years in arrears So 11% preference shares 2 lakhs preference share capital For 3 years So the amount is 66,000 this is in the form of equity shares now. They are allotted equity shares of 50 rupees each to the extent of this 66,000. Point number 3. After the issue in point number 2 above, the paid up value of all the equity shares have to be reduced. So, reduction in paid up value is contribution because the liability reduces. Come on. I am reducing a 50 rupee share to 25 rupees. That means I am reducing it to half. Already existing equity shares are 2 lakhs. Plus 66,000 issued to preference shareholders towards preference dividend. That will make the total equity share capital as 2 lakh 66. If I am reducing this to half. Then 1 lakh 33,000 is the reduction. Capital reduction contributions. Two lakhs already existing plus sixty six thousand issued to preference shareholders. Fifty percent reduction in the paid up value. One lakh thirty three. Next point number four: face value of the equity shares should be reduced. Face value, if you reduce, there is no capital reduction there, and the balance unpaid portion should be called up. So it is only going to increase your equity share capital at the same time also increase your cash balance. No capital reduction point coming into picture now. Next, goodwill has lost its value and has to be written off. Utilization again. Goodwill in the books shows at 20,000. I am writing it off. I am utilizing the capital reduction. Next, fixed assets are to be determined at 2,50,000. Book value is 2,90,000. So again I will use for fixed assets. 40,000 to write off them towards your market value of the fair value. Investments also should be written off. Again, utilization. Investments to be written off 12,500. 
Next, stock in trade to be valued at 110% increase in the value of a said contribution it is. Stock increased by 10%, 10,500. Data should be discounted by 5%. Again, utilization, 5% of datas is 6,375. That's it. That will bring us to the end of capital reduction. Total contributions towards capital reduction are 1,43,500. My total utilization of capital reduction... One forty four three eight seventy five. Yes, guys. Now you can check, guys. There is some reserves existing there. Premium received on preference shares is twenty thousand, and there's a general reserve of thirty thousand. So, if you observe, there is a negative figure here. You do not have capital, uh, capital reserve transfer. So, you have you utilize the general reserve. So, utilization of general reserve. I can utilize this. I will reduce the figure of general reserve. I cannot use securities premium guys. Only use your free reserves for 1375. That means your general reserve will reduce by 1375 rupees. Because your contribution is less than the amount of utilization. I can use the free reserves. Now utilize this information and draft a balance sheet, dra rough balance sheet on 1st April 2011 after considering all these adjustments. Balance sheet of SIC Limited as on 1st April 2011 always use the words and reduced. According to law we have to use and reduced for any reconstruction balance sheet. After reconstruction balance sheet we need to use the word and reduced for 3 balance sheet dates. Now, let's start. First, equity share capital. How much was existing? 2 lakhs. How much did I issue to preference shareholders? Towards preference dividend, 66,000. Total, 2 lakh 66. That I reduced it to 25 rupees paid up. It became 1 lakh 33. Again, I called up 25 rupees. Come back to your 266,000. It will come back to same figure. 266,000. Next. My preference shares are given up. My preference shares I got debentures in exchange. So I won't get that. Come to securities premium now. There is an adjustment to securities premium as well. What was the premium on preference shares? 20,000. Now, given down below in the point number 1, those debentures are also issued at a premium of 10%. That means we will get some securities premium there. So my securities premium already existing 20,000 plus identify the number of debentures 2 lakhs divided by 110 1818. 1818 is your number of debentures. 1818.18 you get. That 0.18 we will discharge in cash. So 1818 is the number of debentures. And each debenture has a premium of 10 rupees. So this will be 18,180. My total premium is 38,180. 
then touch a generalizer. General reserve already existing in the balance sheet is 30,000 but I utilize general reserve for 1375 shortfall in capital reduction. 28,625 is a general reserve existing. It's a free reserve can be used for any particular purpose. Now come to your 13% debentures which are issued to preference shareholders. 1818 debentures, each debenture of 100 rupees in capital. So I get 1,81,800. Next. Current liabilities, there is no change. I did not change anything in the current liabilities there. As it is, let it appear 1,55,000. Come to the assets. Goodwill is written off. So only other fixed assets will appear. Other fixed assets. We have written it down by 40,000. It will be 2,50,000. Investments also written off. Stock. Increased by 10,500. 1,15,500. Debtors reduced by 6375, 1,21,125. Cash and bank balance. Already existing cash and bank opening 50,000 plus. Oh, one second, guys. First minus. Fraction debentures should be paid off in cash. 0.1818 into 110. It should be 20 rupees. That is fraction debentures paid off in cash. After that, he is saying in point number 4, again I get a cash. 25 rupees paid up. I am calling up 25 rupees more on the equity share capital. And I get 1,33,000 on calls and shares. Calls on shares to the extent of 1,33,000. Stop the story there. 1,82,980. And the balance sheet should tally there. Written off. Investments written off. Goodwill written off. It is six lakh sixty nine thousand six not five. Now, what is he asking? He is asking us the balance sheet as on thirtieth September. That is what we need. We'll take this as the base and let's start constructing the balance sheet wherever necessary. We'll start new working notes. As of now, let's start the balance sheet of Sick Limited. As on 30th September 2011, again use the words and reduced. For three years, I have to continue this. Now let's start preparing as per Schedule 3 because this is your final answer. Equity and liabilities. Shareholder funds, share 
share capital. Only equity share capital exists. Preference share capital got converted into debentures. Equity share capital is 2,66,000. There will not be a change in this. My reserves and surplus. Securities premium. 38,180. General reserve. 28,625. There should be a PNL for 6 months. Anything given as half yearly profit check. During the working of half year, it is noticed that the trading or the period resulted in an increase in the bank balance by 2,770, sorry, 550, debt asked by 20,000, credit asked by 30,000, decrease in stock is 4,000 and a depreciation for the P for half year of the fixed assets is 10%. There is no P&L given for 6 months. So this P&L for 6 months, take it as a balancing figure in the balance sheet. I don't know, we cannot calculate this. Because of insufficient information. Non-current liabilities. Thirteen percent debentures. Read there's an adjustment to that. I can't take the figure directly from the previous balance sheet because down there in the last sentence he says the increase in the bank balance was prior to the company paying off half yearly interest on debentures and redeeming one half of the debentures on 30th September. Half the debentures are gone from there. So balance debentures of only 90,900 appear. Current liabilities, that is nothing but the creditor that is talking about. The creditors have decreased, by, sorry, increased by 13,000. 13,000 increase over Fixed assets, come on, is there any increase in fixed assets that he's talking about? No, there's a depreciation, 10% per annum. So, 6 months depreciation is only 5%. 1 lakh, thir sorry, 2 lakh 37,500. After 5% depreciation, given for 6 months. Current assets, first one is stock, check what is the stock adjustment, there is a decrease in stock by 4000, this will become 1,11,500. Debtors, debtors increased by 20,000, 1,41,125. Next, cash and bank, already existing cash and bank was 1,82,980, increase in the cash balance given there is 27,550. However, he clearly said that this increase, last line, this increase was prior to the company paying a half yearly interest on debentures and redeeming one half of the debentures. By redeeming they paid 90,900 and they also paid interest. Check the amount of interest to be paid. It's a 13% debenture. So, 6.5% for half year. 
6.5% on 1,81,800. The PNL being taken as the balancing figure, guys, in the entire thing because the profits he did not give me for six months. So I'm taking this as the balancing figure. Equity share capital unchanged. Securities premium unchanged. General reserve, I kept it intact. Six months profits is 6233. Parking into a different account of PNL. <coughs> Debentures 1,81,800 redeemed by 50%. So balance 50% of 90,900 available. Current liabilities, he clearly said they have increased by 13,000. So it becomes 1,68,000. Your tangible fixed assets, 10% per annum depreciation. So 5% for every 6 months. 5% depreciation, 12,500. 2,37,500. Come to the stock, reduced by 4,000, 1,11,500. Debtors, there is an increase in the debtors. So the amount of increase in the debtor was 20,000. So this became 1,41,125. Cash in bank, it increased by 27,550. So 180 to 980 plus 27,550. But such an increase in the last statement, he says, is before paying half yearly interest. Half yearly interest on debentures is 13% into 181,800 into 6 by 12, 11,817. And we also repaid debentures of 90,900. The balance cash is 1,7813. Identify PNL as a balancing figure from this. Answer is 6233 and the balance sheet tallies. We have identified the PNL with the balancing figure. So take the same total and identify the PNL. PNL is 6233. That is a profit for 6 months.